Hello and welcome. Hi or welcome. My name is Lena. I am a Danish knitter coming to you from the northern part of Denmark. I live here with my husband and our two girls and two cats. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and this is my podcast where I talk about knitting and I sprinkle it with a little bit of music played by me on the piano right here. Thank you for tuning in. If you're coming back from watching before, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first time, welcome. I hope that you will enjoy what you see. Today I have some FOs to show you, some whips, some eye candy right there. And I also have a little bit of footage to show you from a vacation that I took with my family last week. We went to Greece on the island of Crete. A extremely, an extremely beautiful island. But I don't know what I was thinking when I said to my husband, yes, dear, it is a wonderful idea to go to Greece in July. It was scorching hot and I don't handle heat well at all. I am, I love the sun, especially if I'm in air condition. <laughs> I am more of a homebody, stay at home, sit in my knitting chair with maybe a bit of a gloomy day and a nice cup of tea and a podcast on my computer and knitting in my hands, then I'm happy. <laughs> but I was also happy, don't get me wrong, I was also happy going to Greece. It was beautiful and I took some footage of the scenery down there because it's just, it's just amazing. I want to go back and experience everything again when I'm able to be outside for more than half an hour because I would have melted. <laughs> I had packed multiple projects for me to sit and knit and be all movie star-ish, sitting by the pool knitting. Mm -mm. I fortunately had also brought some airplane knitting, which was a dishcloth, because I um, did some research before going on the uh, airline's website and they said that you could bring knitting needles, but only wooden ones. And I was like, well, I don't want to switch out my metal needles for one of my sock projects. So I just, I got my wooden needles and I bought some cotton yarn and I thought that I would catch up on knitting some dishcloths. So it turns out that was all I did for the entire week. So why don't we jump on into the FOs and let me show you the dishcloths that I knit in a week. I started on the trip down there on the plane. Didn't get that much knitting done. I don't know why. Just didn't feel like it, I guess. The, the plane ride was fine and I'm not scared of flying or anything like that. So but I don't know. So these needles helped me produce this batch of new dish cloths. Dish cloths. Boy, that's hard to say when you're not a native speaker. <sighs> okay. There is six here. I ended up having to find myself a yarn star down, down there, which I'm not sad about <laughs> because I ran out of yarn. I, as I said, had planned on just knitting on my socks and I brought some other projects as well and that just did not happen so when I was done with these two and I knew that I only had that yarn left I was like I need to do something because I cannot be here for the rest of the week this was we went down there on Friday and this was like on Sunday I think so I was like we need to go get some more yarn for me so I went to a local yarn store and the lady there was so kind. I have footage from that as well that I would include. The yarn store is Pleco. I'm probably not saying that right at all. I apologize for butchering the beautiful Greek language. But I had some help from a wonderful knitting friend who knows Greek a little bit. She's really cool, Camilla. Thank you for your help. Um, and she helped me figure out that it means I knit. I am knitting. So that's really cool. Yeah. The yarn that I brought from home, let me show you the labels. Because I just, I cast on 50 or 60 stitches and then I just 
knit one row and then I knit slip one knit one and then turned and then just knit plain knit stitches on the other so this is the back and this is the front and that's all I did until the very last row I did a complete knit row and then I cast off when I had no more yarn left so this is a 50 gram ball of DK weight cotton yarn whoops the brand is Freya from self-made that's a store that mainly sells uh, fabric actually here in Denmark uh, but I just I went there to see what they had and I bought three skeins of cotton yarn and it is 100% cotton and the ball is about 50 grams and that runs 75 meters now I have to be honest with you honest Freya <laughs> I the result is fine but I was not too impressed with the yarn when I was knitting it. I did find it a bit splitty, I have to be honest. And I don't know, maybe cotton yarn is just like that. I rarely knit with cotton, so I don't know. But I am pleased with the result. This was the first one that I did. It's very wonky and very weird because I was trying some stuff out, but whatever, it'll fit perfectly. And then I got into the one that you already seen. So I just did that pattern for the rest. And then the yarn that I bought uh, in Hanya, the one of the main cities on Crete, is this one. Eucalyptus Hooked. And this is, this is soft and silky blend of 97% eucalyptus fibers and 3% other fibers, whatever that might be. And that is these. This was a 100 gram skein, so I got two cloths out of that. And I think this one I might have cast on 60 stitches, but you know, just whatever. They have not been washed yet. Yeah, this is the 50 one, 50 stitches one. And I thought that was a bit small, so. I cast on 60 for the other one. And then I also got this one. Lanagato. This is an Italian yarn. Let me see if I can tell you about the content. 65% cotton, 23 bamboo, and 12% seaweed fiber. And she said that this was also a DK weight. And I can tell when I look at the yardage so that is true, but I did find it more fingering-ish to knit with. It's not as dense a fabric, but whatever. It's just fine. And it's funny with the little color changes in there. I like that a lot. So this is also 60 stitches. And I knit them all on a 3.5 millimeter needle. Yeah. So now I'm good to go. My kitchen is updated and I can clean away. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, does it have some colorways? Yeah, this one is color number 30, 30731. Yeah. And this eucalyptus one is called salvia salvia could that be maybe sage sage in danish is sel selvia so that maybe that could be that would be my guess and that would match the color so yeah i of course also have some finished socks to show you but before I head on into socks I want to show you this my habitation throw that's what it's called I had to think about that for a minute <laughs> my habitation throw by Helen Stewart I finished it look at that isn't that gorgeous I love the way it fades into the 
next color right here. I did do a big modification, not in the pattern, but in yarn weight. I knit this in my advent from last year from by Kielerich, and it was a DK weight. And the pattern is originally written for fingering weight, 10 grams of each color. And I had 20 grams of DK weight, so I thought, well, I can just substitute that. And then I knitted on a five millimeter needle, the US eight maybe, I think so. But I lost in yarn chicken. This right here is the last color. And as you can tell, it's just black right here. I just went in my stash and found some black. I think it maybe, I'm pretty sure it's a lonely sock lady. One of her minis that I had not used olive. So there. And this is not washed yet either. The cat and I are fighting over whose blanket it is. <laughs> it is mine, but she is crazy about knitted blankets. So every time I get it out, she's like, can I lay on it, please? My little stripy cat. So I'm very happy that this is done. It has already been used, even though it is summer here in Denmark, but we came home from yeah, at least 35 degrees Celsius in Greece to about 20 degrees Celsius in Denmark. So that was a bit cold, which was nice. I enjoyed myself because <laughs> I could just wrap up and be nice and warm when I wanted to. And when I was too hot, I could just take off the blanket. That's the way I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's jump on into the socks. I have two pairs of finished socks to show you. I actually also have another FO, but I can't show you that because I did a test knit of a little scarf thingy and we're not allowed to show it yet. So, but it's good. <laughs> These socks I showed you last time, my love story socks. This pattern is by Kay Litton, the crazy sock lady, and they're finished. These have been on my needles for quite a while. Not because I didn't enjoy the pattern. I don't know why. It just stuff happens, you know? And I'm really, really pleased with the way these turned out. I think they're both Christmassy and just all around. But to me, this kind of looks like uh, garlands and then little Christmas twinkle lights. I did substitute the heel for a wrap -em all heel. That is in a pattern that I've done with Karin. Uh, we're the Sock Knitters Club. So uh, this heel is from a pattern called Wrap em All Vanilla. It's on Ravelry. I will link that together with everything else I talk about today in the description box. I always forget to say that. And if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm also the Playful Knitter there. Yeah. Side note. <laughs> And the yarn right here is, this is, is that Cabernet? I think so, by A Lonely Sock Lady. And this is by Millenetstrek, that means Midnight Knitting, also a Danish yarn dyer. It's called Pyntegrunt Decoration Greens, is that what we call it? Yeah, and this green one right here is by It's Yarn, and it is called Pesto. I think these are very beautiful. And then I did another test knit and these are amazing. The pattern is out. It's a new design by Kim from Three by the Sea Designs. And I have to say that Kim is just a genius with her socks. They're so fun to knit. This is the second pair that I've tested for her. And um, let's just say I already have another pair on the needles <laughs> that I'll show you in just a minute. But this is the first pair that I knit. And these are the Mermaid Waves socks. Look at that toe. Isn't that cool? It's, it's to symbolize like a mermaid's tail. And with this, do you call these scales maybe? And then like the tail, the structure on the tail. These are not washed yet. And I knit with the structure or yeah. The pattern just on the front you could do it all the way around if you want to um and then a slip stitch heel flap and gusset 
is what the pattern um, comes with. So that's just perfect. And I think these are so fun. This yarn is, did I show that last time? I probably did. The yarn club from It's Yarn and it's called, I'm blanking on the name. Bile Westerhau, I think. Yeah, Wild Western Sea, Wild Northern Sea. What do you call Westerhau in English? If anybody knows, let me know. Northern Sea, Western Sea, I don't know. The water between Denmark and the UK. <laughs> but I think this color is just gorgeous. Look at those speckles. Isn't that pretty? And normally this color, I do not like it all. I would never choose this color for myself, but I love it with this sock set. I think it is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So the Mermaid Wave Socks by Kim from Three by the Sea Designs. Before I show you what I have on my needles, I would like to read you something. A couple of episodes ago, some one of you wrote me a poem and left it for me in the comments. It's not only for me, I feel like it's for the whole knitting community. So I really want to read it for you. It's just, it's amazing. Okay, are you ready? In a world of yarn and tangled thread, the playful knitter's joy is spread. 5,000 hearts now weave and blend, a milestone reached, a triumph sent. With needles swift and colors bright, we celebrate this special night. Through every stitch, a story told, in warmth and love, our dreams unfold. Here's to wool and wine's fine taste. With laughter shared, there's no time to waste. To Nitty Natty, a cheerful cheer, your vibrant spirit ever dear. Finish knitting stories, cozy embrace. In every tale, we find our place. Little big knits with hearts so grand, your kindness woven strand by strand. Knit 365, your daily thread, inspires us all to forge ahead. Together we create, we laugh, we thrive. In this community, we feel alive. So here's to 5,000 and many more. With friends like these, we soar and soar. In every loop, in every skein, we celebrate again and again. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever heard? I mean, such a beautiful tribute to so, well, for me personally, I'm so honored. And I love that she is mentioning the community and so many other podcasters. So thank you so very, very much, so much. You know who you are. This, uh, this is just one example of how you guys just warm my heart and fill my spirit. So thank you so very, very much. All right, are you ready for some whips? I have four pairs of socks that I would love to show you on my needles, but before, let's look at this one. This is my newest cast on. <laughs> I cast it on yesterday and actually, you know, with four sock whips, I have no business casting on something new, but I wanted to cast this on for a long time, ever since I shopped for the yarn. This is another blanket and I'm really enjoying my blanket knitting these days. I just, it's so comforting. Yeah, it's a comfort knit. <laughs> and I cast on the Cozy Comfort Throw by Molly Clatt from A Homespun House. And this is how far I've gotten. It's just knit stitches and I love it. Love, love, love. And all my yarns are in here. Let's see if I can show you. This is a yarn that I've never used before. And honestly, I thought I never would because this is holst super soft. And it's not scratchy, but it is a wooly wool. But this blanket is for my husband, my sweet Lars. He has a boat and he is very 
supportive of my knitting and he's very, very knit worthy. So I asked him if he was interested in me knitting a blanket for his boat. And he was just, yes, please. Do you really want to do that? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I went to the host yarn store. They have a brick and mortar store about 20 kilometers from where, no, 10 kilometers from where I live. So it's a nice and easy trip. And I went there with my knitting friend, Charlotte. And I let me just show you just a couple. I just got all kinds of fall nuanced colors. And I'm just gonna knit. And then when I don't wanna knit that color anymore, I'm gonna um, add the next color. I am knitting the yarn held double. So I just started, um, I broke one thread and added one of the new color and then just knit for a little bit. So it's kind of marled. And then I just added, so it'll be unicolored. Oh, oh, I just thought I lost a thread, but I didn't. And I am knitting it on a four millimeter needle. I think you're the pattern calls for five, but I don't know. I wanted the pattern a bit more dense. That is just the way I like it. And if I knit it on a five millimeter, oh, I'm sorry, I have yarn on my nose. Um, I would feel like I would have to be aware of my tension all the time. And I don't want to do that. I just want to sit and relax. And if I knit it on a four millimeter, if I knit a bit loose, it doesn't matter. So that's my plan. When it will be done, I don't know. And it doesn't matter. It is my comfort knit. And whenever I just knit, need to just sit there and think of nothing and just let my stitches flow, that is what I'm going to pull out. And one day, Lars will have his blanket for his boat. <laughs> and now for the socks. Four pairs on the needles. This one I've shown you before. It's gotten a little bit of work, but not a lot. These are the opal socks on my needles that I'm knitting for Lars, my husband. And I've gotten a bit further on the foot. Yeah. And this opal yarn that I'm knitting in, it doesn't have a colorway because it was part of their subscription. What podcast was it that I saw that they were talking about? They didn't know what this abo means. And abo is, um, well, it means subscription. Subscription in Danish is abonnement. And I would guess that it's probably similar in German. So this is just to signify that this is part of the subscription. So no colorway, but a fun sock. I call them my 90s opal socks because I think these colors are so 90s. <laughs> I can't remember my younger siblings having sweaters and stuff in these colors back in the 90s, so that's fun. And it is in this bag that I sewed myself with camp theme because summer sock camp, yay! <laughs> What's not to love with all the socks? Yeah, I have a lot of socks on my needles, but I'm also really feeling the need to knit like blankets and I have a shawl that I want to cast on to. So we'll see what happens, but for now, socks. <laughs> And then, since it is July, I wanted a Christmas in July project. So I pulled out one of my Christmas bags from that I made last December and cast on another pair of Mermaid Waves socks. I was inspired. I was watching um, Kim's Three by the Sea Designs, newest episode of her podcast. If you've not seen it, go watch. She always shows all the beautiful things that they're making, the yarn and the bags and everything. And then she shows what she is knitting. It's just, I love it. I will link the podcast in the description box along with everything else. And she was doing a pair in self-striping yarn. And I thought that that was so cool. So I had to cast on a pair. And this is the one of the socks. I actually have the second sock whoops, on my needles almost 
the same because I was inspired by two other podcasters, um, Kay from The Crazy Sock Lady and Lisa from Knit, Knit All the Stitches. 72 Stitches is her name on Instagram. Knit, knit All Stitches? I'm sorry, Lisa, if you're watching. I will link it so you can watch because they're both amazing. And if you're crazy about sock knitting, just like I am, you must watch. And what they're doing is they're casting on both socks one at a time. And then just like what I did, I knit the ribbing then on both socks. Then I knit the leg. Then I did the heel. And now I'm working on the foot. And look at these little cute stitch markers right here. Ella, my daughter, made those for me. She's turning 13 on Sunday. And she's my youngest. 13. And Augusta will be 18 in August. So I don't have any babies anymore. I have teenagers. I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> Today, Augusta, she just, she just got her license. Here in Denmark, you can get your license when you're 17, but then you have to drive with an adult in the car. Um, you can't drive alone until you're 18. So they just left to drive to Germany. My baby is driving the car to Germany to shop for sodas and candy and stuff for Ella's birthday party. Yeah. That might sound weird that they're going to go to Germany to buy soda. <laughs> we can buy soda in the store right down here, but it's a bit cheaper when you cross the border to Germany. So a lot of Danes will do that. They'll just jump in the car and take a day trip to Germany. It's about a four hour drive from our house. So they're gonna go there and buy sodas and stuff and uh, come back tonight. <laughs> My baby's driving. Okay, yeah, well, let's talk about socks instead because I obviously cannot handle it. <laughs> But Ella made me these beautiful stitch markers and I love them so much. I use these uh, progress keepers to mark when I'm done with my uh, decreases for the gusset. And then I will use like um, the light bulb markers to mark every 10th row on the foot to know when I'm done and when I have to knit the toe. On these, this pair, I did substitute the heel just like Kim. I am such a copycat. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. With the wrap them all heel from the wrap them all vanilla pattern. I don't know. I love this color. This is a colorway by a lonely sock lady from her advent of last year. This is North Pole Tea Party. It's gorgeous, you guys. I love it. And this structure right here is just. I love it so much and I am thoroughly enjoying knitting two at a time. Knitting these in tandem, I cannot recommend it enough. I probably don't, haven't said it in this episode, so I'll just say it. I knit all my socks on a 2.25 millimeter needle, a US one. Yeah, that's just what fits the gauge that I like and the fabric that I want. I am contemplating that next time I knit with this yarn because this is still fingering, but a bit lighter than, for example, Opal and the yarn from A Lonely Sock Lady. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a bit, tiny bit thinner. And to get the fabric that I like, I might try a US zero or a two millimeter. It's fine if you look at it right here. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, just preferences, you know? This is yarn by uh, Ladybug Yarn. This is the colorway Lake View. I took a road trip with my two knitting friends, Dorit and Charlotte, and we went to uh, Dorit's store. She has like um, a workshop 
And every now and then she'll have an open workshop day where you can come and look at the yarn and shop if you want. So we did that and it was just such a fun day. Can you tell that there's like sparkles in here? Yeah, maybe if I go like this. And she had a pair of socks there that has these ruffles. And she's like, well, you can just go like this and this and I'm, and I had to try it. And I think that they're turning out so very, very cute. I have the second one on my needles. So these were not knit in tandem, but I'm really contemplating doing that for the next pairs that I'm casting on because I really, I enjoy that a lot. I was asked um, from one of you guys last time for tips on how to make your sock knitting more effortless. And I was like, hmm, I don't really know what to answer because I guess I think that it's kind of a personal preference, but for me, this is definitely one that makes it way more effortless than it was. It, how should I say that? For me, I don't feel like my sock knitting needs much effort because I've knit so many pairs. So they're just, comfort knits for me by now so yeah but knitting these two at a time not on the same needle because i don't i don't enjoy that but that might be one that you guys would like so try it out um and then when i switched from dpns to magic loop that also did something for me but i guess what i'm trying to say is that you kind of have to experiment and find what suits you best DPNs, Magic Loop, uh, nine inch circulars, whatever fits your fa preferences, fit, tickles your fancy. <laughs> you know, so knitting should be a joy. You should knit what makes you happy and what brings you comfort. So, but one thing that has made it even more comfortable for me to knit my socks is this new thing with knitting them in tandem. So that's my tip for today. One more note on these. It is just a plain vanilla, vanilla sock. The Wrap Em All Vanilla is the pattern that I used for this one by Sock Nurse Club. And then I just added this ruffle up here. Yeah. The last pair of socks that I would like to show you today is this one in here, Sock Knitter for Life. I have made a bit of progress on this sock that I showed you last time. It is a test knit that I did for Stephen West and now it is out. The Mingling Daisy socks. This is the finished sock. And uh, last time I showed you the pair, I think I maybe just had the cuff on the second one. But now I've gotten as far as to have turned the heel. I don't know, they're not, they're not a slow knit. I'm just slow at knitting them because actually when I, when I start, when I set myself down and just get started, they go really fast because the changing of these patterns all the time, it's very motivating, but I've just, my brain has been elsewhere, elsewhere. So yeah, they'll be done when they're done. <laughs> that was all the FOs and the whips that I had to show you today. I still have a little bit of eye candy to show you, some happy mail, um, and we also have to talk about uh, the winner of the giveaway from the last episode, and I have something new to give away on this episode. I feel so lucky that people want to share and donate stuff to give away to you guys. That's just, I love that so much, so, so very much. But before I talk more about that, I uh, want to show you a little bit of footage from my vacation uh, to Greece. And uh, I'll play a little bit of music. So I invite you all to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow. <music>
I just remembered that uh, one of you kind viewers asked me uh, in the comments for the last episode about the fit of the Gudrun socks. And I have taken a little bit of footage that you can watch while I talk uh, because it is a different heel. I think this heel is genius. It is ripping on each side of the heel and then there's the little cup for your heel. So of course, it's not like a regular heel flap and gusset, but I do find that the heel fits very well. There's not a lot of puckering here on the front or anything like that. And I think that is because of this cup right here. So yeah, my kitty cat was really <laughs> wanting to be in the picture while I was filming this, but I'll see if I can edit it so you can see more socks than cat. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some goodies. When I went to uh, the Ladybug yarn store, uh, Dort was so sweet and she said to each of us, why don't you grab each a skein that you could give away at a later time on your podcast? And uh, this is not the giveaway for this time, but I do want to show you because I think it is beautiful. So... At a later point in time, this will be a giveaway here on my podcast. This colorway is called Little John. And it has sparkles. Yay! And the reason why I'm not giving it away on this episode is because uh, I had a skein that I purchased myself from Ladybug Yarn. That is the one that is being given away from last time. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Yeah. And then while I was sitting melting at the pool, sweet, sweet Lona from A Lonely Sock Lady Yarns, she had a shop update. And what better to comfort yourself with but to buy yarn. So that's what I did. <laughs> and I bought these two beautiful sock sets. These are 70 gram sets. So 50 grams of the stripes and 20 gram of the contrast. And I think these are gorgeous. This one right here is Share the Good Times. And the contrast is called Wine Rose. And this one is Melancholy. And the, co the contrast is Pumpkin Orange. It's just perfection, if you ask me. And when you order from Lone, you always get like a little little sample. I love this. It's so cute. And I know just what I'm going to use it for, but I will tell you about that at a later date. And then I had ordered some yarn from Three by the Sea Designs. And it came while I was in Greece, but fortunately I had my sweet friend house sitting and cat sitting. So she was there to receive the package for me. And look at this. This was one of their mystery sets. Let's get together. Do you guys know the movie Parent Trap? I first heard, heard about it and watched it in the 90s when there was a new version out, but I actually like the older version better that this is inspired by. I think this is gorgeous. This is on their Sandable sock base. One of my absolute favorite sock bases to knit in. I mean, come on. Gorgeous. And then they had their summer update. And I had my eye on one of their project bags. <laughs> and I swear, I was there the minute the shop updated and eight minutes minutes passed when I was ready to check out the bags were gone <laughs> that's so amazing I'm so happy for them oh that's so cool but I did snag a pink lemonade party sock set also a fingering sock set soundable base and this one their coral reef also on their soundable base Look at these neons right here. I love it. It's so beautiful. 
Oh, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. Excuse me. And with the mystery sock set also came needle, needle minders, needle stoppers, stitch, stitch stoppers. I was so, so excited when I saw this grand piano. That is perfect. I love it so much. And I also purchased these progress keepers. I know the 4th of July has come and gone, gone, but I can use them next year. I thought they were cute. And then you always get like a little bag of trinkets and there's an extra one. I love it. And there's some tea. And this is cold brew for iced tea for both of them. So that's so exciting. I also got my sock set from It's Yarn. I think it's called Garden Party. Um, I can't, I can show it, but not in its completion because I've already used the main skein for the test knit that I'm not allowed to show yet. But it's very, very pretty. There. And then I went to the yarn store in Greece. Pleco. Luxury knitting yarns. And this bag, I was just, I was finishing my purchase and she was like, well, would you like to buy one of our, right now I can only remember the word bag, but it's called something else, but you know what I mean. Because uh, the price of this, then you don't, that, that would be donated to feeding the stray cats. There are so many homeless cats on Crete. So I was like, yes, please. I would like to feed the cats because the uh, store owner, she fed the cats herself. So the money that she got for these bags, she used for cat food. And I thought that was just amazing. And then look what she had. One of her friends was a yarn dyer. So this is locally dyed Hanya on Crete in Greece. And I'm so excited. And she said that they're just starting out with hand dyeing yarn. And this yarn is not, the wool is not from Crete because they, what was it she said? Something like the quality of the sheep or the goats are the, the, well, the quality wasn't up to, up to snuff. <laughs> so this is dyed on Australi Australian wool, mm, mulesing free, 75% wool, 25% polyamide. And it is just very, very pretty. Does it have a colorway? I don't think so, but this is the name right here. Narrow knit, narrow knit. Beautiful, beautiful color. We went, we took a day trip to a beach where the sand had kind of a pinkish, pinkish color because of some seashells and stuff and the water was just so blue so turquoise perfect perfection all right now for the giveaways first i want to mention that um i am still waiting to hear from the winner for last time for this set so let me just put the picture up one more time suzanne Please contact me by August 1st. Uh, fair enough, if this is not your style and you don't want it, that's fine too. But if I haven't heard from you uh, by August 1st, I will draw another winner and announce it on the next episode. Yes. And then for the winner from today's episode, this beautiful yarn by Ladybug Yarn. The colorway is Primrose. And the winner is, ta-da, ta-da! Anita Fernandez. Anita, please contact me on 
by, via private message on Instagram. I am the play, playful knitter over there. It is linked. My profile profile is linked in the description box. Congratulations and thank you all so very much for your very inspiring comments, letting me know what you're knitting on, your favorite sock patterns, something for a uh, one skein wonder. Thank you so very, very much. I do appreciate each and every comment you take your time to write. It's just such a pleasure to get to read them. So Anita, contact me. Suzanne, contact me. I want to ship these to you. <laughs> and now for the giveaway for this time. Side note, you have only one if I announce it here and put up a picture. If somebody contacts you on Instagram or in the comments or something like that, just ignore them. Write me, let me know so I can block them. The only way that you will know that you have one if, is if I announce it here on screen, just to be safe. Let's be safe. So a sweet, sweet knitting friend has started dyeing yarn and boy, is she talented. This is Katrine Catherine from Rasne Kreativ, that means fur furiously created, creative, and she sure is. And she sent me over a couple of things. Look at these. This beautiful, beautiful yarn. Two sock sets. And um, when I opened this package, it was just oh, pure joy, just colors and wonderful scents. And this is like little licorice scent. And there are these two lip balms. They're mint flavored. And they're, let's see if I can grab it all. There are some stickers, her logo right here. It has like a little color chart on the back. And then there's these little cute pouches. There's a sticker in here and a stitch marker. And then she included these two as well. And I think that's just so cool. These cards. French, friend, friendship and protection. The friendship one says, fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. And the protection one. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual, spiritual work. And they're just beautiful. The back as well. So what I will send to one of you guys, because she said there's a set for me and there's a set for one of you. So this is my set because I love yellow. <laughs> and then what you will receive is this beautiful sock set, some stickers, one of these cards, a lip balm, stitch marker and this beautiful scent. I will send all this to one of you. And how to participate? Well, I had issues when I was knitting in the scorching heat in Greece. So I would love to know what do you do when it is so warm? Do you still knit? I do because I, I can't not knit. But what do you do? Knit when it is so warm. Alternatively, tell me what you're knitting on right now. I am a curious person. Curious George could have been me. <laughs> Let me know what you knit on during the summertime or what are you knitting on right now? Leave me a comment, say hello, and I will draw a winner and announce here on screen for the next episode. Yes. I think that was it, you guys. If you're still here, thank you so much. <laughs> you are the most patient viewers ever. <laughs> I appreciate you guys taking your time. I appreciate that so very, very much. And I wish you all the best and lots of hygge and lots of knitting. Until next time, take care. Bye.